COVID-19 has brought the global economy to its knees. The pandemic has been an enormous, synchronised global economic shock on a scale which has not been seen since the Second World War. By the end of 2020, the world's GDP may be about 7.5% lower than it would have been without the pandemic. Globally, more than 15% of young people who were in work before COVID-19 have lost their jobs. Widespread lockdowns have turbocharged changes that were already affecting the world economy in technology, finance and trade. How governments adapt to these seismic changes will determine how rapidly countries' economies can recover. In April this year, American unemployment was the highest since the Depression. Back then, around a quarter of Americans were jobless. But from the bleak depression of the 1930s was born the New Deal, an ambitious federal plan to create jobs and kickstart the economy. 40% of those seeking work have found it. We have a long way to go, but we are on the way. The crises of the 20th century forced governments to change their policies for the better. It's often been the case that after big periods of economic upheaval, you've had a reforging of the relationship between the individual and the state. The Second World War was followed by an expansion of the welfare state in Europe. And high unemployment and inflation of the 1970s led to Ronald Reagan's and Margaret Thatcher's free market economics. But in the 21st century, the largest economic shocks have not led to such a change. The global financial crisis, people thought maybe you'd have a rethinking of how banking worked, but in the end, you only got incremental reform. The effects of trade with China uh, were not adequately anticipated by Western policymakers. They did not think about the impact it would have on some workers who were exposed to it. And I don't think enough thinking had been done uh, about the implications of, of, of big tech for the economy and society. 